Hey everybody, Ian here at NAB 2014. We're over in the Sony booth and we came across a really cool uh, option for EOS mount lenses on the F5, F55 with the Optitron. This is the Optitron 2 and this is Yasek, its creator. Uh, Yasek, you want to just give us a quick rundown on the feature set and what uh, differentiates the Optitron 2 from your prior version? Uh, the Optitron is a, a, an electronic follow focus. Uh, we activate the autofocus motors that are built into the Canon uh, still lenses uh, and instead of using gears on the focus and uh, uh, gears on the iris which the lenses don't have an iris ring even, we uh, internally drive the motors in order to control focus and iris and we do it very precisely in a very repeatable manner. Uh, we cover pretty much all conceivable Canon lenses, over 200 lenses are uh, in our library. Uh, Optitron 2 is a lot smaller unit. Uh, we uh, recognize the, how much smaller the new cameras got and uh, how much more compact the setups are, how many more setups need to be done. So we came up with a unit that's as small as we could make it, basically a knob with uh, a slider for iris control. Yeah, I've noticed that the weight on this is absolutely minimal. So, uh, do you want to give us a little run through of the interconnectivity between the camera and, and the handset? Um, the Optitron 2, it, it, it's a plug and play unit. It plugs into our existing mount that we have been supplying with uh, Sony F5 cameras. Uh, and it auto calibrates the lenses. It takes about 10 15 seconds to calibrate the lens and um, it remaps the focus travel on the lens, as we all know it's a very limited focus travel on still lenses, it remaps it to almost a full turn on the focus knob and of course we also have additional features where we can extend that range for macro focusing, we can actually remap one foot of travel in focus to a full rotation if need be. Um, the, there is no, uh, we also powering up the unit from the camera, from the mount, so there is no external power necessary, no cables to take up auxiliary power ports, no cables to break. It's a very clean setup. Um, and uh, we also, this, this uh, Optitron has a wireless transceiver built into it. And uh, with addition of our wireless receiver, this tiny little unit here, we can uh, add an, a wireless uh, focus and iris control feature to the system. Uh, we fully integrated, that was already done with our Mark II version of the mount, we fully integrated the, uh, our, um, our mount with, the, with Sony camera systems, so the iris position, the aperture, and the focus distance is displayed in the camera viewfinder. Okay. And this, so as far as connectivity goes, what's the range? Uh, the, the units, uh, the transceiver is rated at 100 meters, but mileage will vary obviously with uh, you know, RF pollution and so forth. And if you don't want to do the uh, wireless, if you've got a very crowded atmosphere, can we go hardwire? We, if, of course, for, for example, sh shoulder mounted uh, setup, it could be it, it could just the unit just, uh, the Optitron just plugs into the mount and it also gets powered from the mount, so there is no other cables, no other power options necessary. We make a dog bone bracket that we slide on the rods and the unit just clips on that, but it could be actually placed anywhere on the camera for different setups, for a tripod setup or others. Uh, we use uh, you know, CineLock to you know, just- And it as far as that cable, that hardwire, what's the maximum of the hardwire we could have on this? If we got it out on a jib or you know, something it's, like that? It's 15 meters. We've used it with 15 meters and it worked fine. Uh, and you have, so you've got, uh, how are you powering this? This unit right now is powered uh, from a battery. Uh, it's a, just a standard battery. The battery is removable. Uh, the battery cage is removable, so we can clip the unit uh, onto, the, uh, onto the camera, but also we can remove this battery. It just slides out. Uh, this is just a standard battery. We purchase it. You know, it's a it's a it off-shelf battery. It comes with a kit. They're very inexpensive. They last a uh, couple of days in a wireless uh, in a wireless uh, setup because we're not driving the lenses. We just this the the unit has a very minimum power draw. It has about 50, uh, 50 milliamps of power draw. Okay, and I've lasted the two most important questions for last year: price and availability. Uh, the 
wireless, the Optitron 2 is going to come in under $2,000. Uh, the wireless receiver is $750. We've had that out for a while. And the mount adapter that also has been out for a while is $1,750. Okay, and when do you, when will we have these available? Uh, the, these are the first production units. Uh, if everything goes well on the show and we have no hiccups, uh, I would say six to eight weeks we're going to start shipping the Optitron 2. Okay, so say by you know, June we'll be we'll be seeing these. Yes, yes. So uh, that, that's that's yeah that sounds about correct. Uh, okay. Of course. Okay. So an amazing lightweight, compact, uh, very easy to use wireless system for EOS lenses on the Sony F5 F55. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.